Hi, Nathan here from The Pop Revolution, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to import MIDI from Logic Pro as an XML file into Finale. It's one of the fastest ways to notate in Finale because you don't have to do any sort of note entry. Instead, you take MIDI that you've already recorded in Logic and export it out as an XML, and then you simply import it into Finale. And voila, you've successfully skipped the tedious step of note entry. All right, so first I should mention, if you are a Sibelius user, you can still do this. However, it's a slightly different process. So I should let you know right off the bat that I will be focusing on Finale in this video. Okay, so for me personally, I prefer to do most of my composing in Logic. Whether I'm songwriting or scoring a film or composing for an instrumental ensemble, I find composing in Logic to be really organic. So for those of us who like to start in Logic to do most of our composing rather than Finale, it will save you a lot of time to simply export your MIDI files as XML so you can just drop it into Finale. Then all you have to do is just clean up your Finale file, add expression, dynamics, or whatever you want to add, and you have your score that's ready to go. So first off, we'll start in Logic. And I already have a bit of music ready to go, so let's take a quick listen. Okay, great, nothing fancy, but we have five tracks of MIDI that I want to send to Finale. So the first thing we have to do is go into score editor mode, which you can get to from your editor mode or just use the shortcut N, which will take you straight to your score mode. Being in score mode is absolutely essential to exporting an XML. If score mode is not highlighted, then you will not be able to export your file. This is really important to know because it's very easy to accidentally click elsewhere on your screen and cause your score mode to become unhighlighted. If this happens, you won't be able to export. So if you're noticing that the option to export is unavailable, the reason is probably because your score mode is not highlighted. Along with that, you cannot be in piano roll mode. It actually has to be specifically score mode. So once you're in score mode, it's really simple. All you have to do is go to the top tab in Logic to File, down to the Export tab, and then some options will be given to you. But you want to choose the very bottom option, which is Score as Music XML. Now, notice that I can't click on that option right now. The reason is because I have not highlighted the score editor. Remember, if it's not highlighted, you cannot export it. I stress this because I personally have experienced how frustrating it is to forget it. So by highlighting it, you're telling Logic which score you want to import. So only the tracks that are highlighted in your score editor will be exported. So say I only wanted to export my violin one part. I would only have that track selected and then export it. But in this case, I would much rather have everything together to save me some time. So if you only see one part at a time, even though you have selected multiple parts, just click the arrow that is next to your layout tab on the editor as so, and you'll be able to see everything in full score format. Just so you know, you might have to click it twice. I've selected the parts I want to export, have my score highlighted. So now I'll export it. It'll ask me where I want to save it. You can choose wherever you like, but I already have a folder made for it. So I will just send it there can click save and they are now saved as XML files in that folder. Now we're going to go to Finale. So when I open up Finale, it will give me options to open a new document, but I will instead just go to import music XML on the right hand side, since that's the fastest way to do this. I'm allowed to choose where I want to get my files from. So I'll go to that folder that I saved them and open them. And there we are. All my parts are now ready to go in Finale. Now I can go ahead and do some small tweaks to make it look nice, add expression, format, and we'll be ready to print the parts out for my players. So there you have it. That's how you export MIDI from Logic to Finale. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe and feel free to leave any questions or comments you have below. I'll do my best to get back to them.